name's Nicole, aka Angelic Empress from SYL Fitness Dance Vibes. Not only do I like to dance and also cook, I like to plant. Uh, we're going to go over some planting tips that I saw online. I'm all about being natural, so this is a perfect time to start my journey. I'm going to be using a lot of natural remedies and um, start my little herbal garden from home. I'm all about holistic and nature and just naturalistic things. So we're going to start with my plant here. This is a tulip, as you can see, if you can zoom in, that um, it's getting brown from the tips and um, the soil looks a little dry. So I'm going to use some natural substance to nurture the soil, to give the soil oxygen and some calcium. So um, we're going to use some egg boiling water. Um, make sure that's cool when you are boiling your eggs, but this is the water after the eggs are done. I'm going to go ahead and use that. That's what I saw online, so I'm going to try that. And everything that I use today, I'm going to uh, do another video on the updates of everything that I've shown, that I've also grown from scratch, give you updates on a next video of their progress. So this egg water, I'm going to go ahead and pour it on here. For the moisture and calcium for the soil and for the plant and I'll continue to do that for a few weeks and give you an update on that over here I have water sugar and lemon sugar here and bleach I can't believe that I saw that um, online, but as a natural substance, for instance, um, you mix all those chemicals together, and it's supposed to bring your plants to life. It's supposed to give it its natural nutrients. So like when you have store-bought store, uh, plants, um, instead of using the salt or the plant food, you can also mix your own ingredients for the plant food to give it life. So I'll pour a little bit of that in here with a little shake. And I'll go ahead and pour that in here. And I'll give you updates on my flowers. Just pour a little bit in that. So that's lemon water, sugar, and bleach to give it its daily nutrients. Now online I saw that it worked with fresh flowers that was still blooming. Um, I just wanted to pretty much experiment. For this plant here, this is a delicate plant. It kind of reminds me of the orchid plant with the leaves and everything. I boiled some rice water and froze the rice water um, in an ice tray. So I'm making ice tray rice water um, cubes to put in here to water this plant. So that will be the rice water ice cubes for this plant. For this plant here, I believe that it is dried out from the sun and as well as the roots were probably rotted. So to, to experiment and bring this to life, I'll give you updates on that. Um, I have peroxide and water. Peroxide and water, for this plant, I'll be watering that to see if that works and bring that to life. Peroxide and water works with roots that are rotted. So it brings the roots to life and nurture the plants. 
if that doesn't work then I will be watering my plant with rusted water so that's like rusted nails and just plain water I'm gonna let this sit until it turns a little brown and the rest um, submerge with the water if the oxygen and water doesn't work the um, peroxide and water doesn't work I'm going to use the the iron I'm going to use uh, the rusted nails excuse me and water to use for this plant to bring it to life the rusted the rust from the water uh, gives this plant iron and also oxygen so we'll just do that one with the peroxide and water for now So I'll go ahead and just do that for a couple of weeks and see how that turns out and give you an update. Um, we're going to work on planting some food and fruits, vegetables and some fruits. Um, I have here tomatoes. I have here peach seed, some cherry seeds. Um, I believe I have watermelon seed. And I also have some other small watermelon seeds. Um, I have some eggshells. So this is like a lot of plants and just items that you can use from home to help start your own garden. Uh, to do like a little flower bin, I have some tea bags that has the calamine with it. I'm going to go ahead and start my tomatoes because I love tomatoes. So I'm going to cut this in half to plant that. Um, I love cherries and also peaches, so I'm going to plant some of that. And I love watermelon, so I'm going to plant that. So you can watch me from here. For the eggshells, this gives the plant, um, as a start, uh, growth, nutrients, calcium. So I'm going to go ahead and just sprinkle some watermelon seeds on here. And I'm going to water that and make sure it's tucked in there. See the watermelon seeds. And I'll put a little soil in that. Like again, it gives it nourishment and a starter plant. And I'm going to go ahead and water that, let that stay in for a little bit until I see something sprout. And then it will be transferred to a pot as a starter. As a start. I'm going to do the same for the cherries. I got one cherry. Just put that in here. And I'm going to water that and watch that grow. And once I, once I see something sprout, then I'll put that in a pot as well. As in my peach, I'm excited about that. I'm going to put that in here and not in the eggshell. Just go straight into the soil for that to start to grow. Water that and watch that blossom and then I can plant that into the ground. I'm going to look up what I can do with coffee beans. I believe this would be like a nice fertilizer for my plants. And my tomatoes, um, what I do is, or what I can do, is just chop this in half. And you can literally just put the whole tomato inside the pot with the seeds. I'm going to cover it up and water that and watch it grow. Then transfer that into the ground for my tomato bush. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Again, I'm excited to see what develops and what grows from everything that I showed you today. Stay tuned for another video to come in regards to the progress of everything and as well as my natural herbalistic
journey. Take care.